Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Julie and I am the author of the blog CapturingWonderland.com. Today, I hope I have a really quick and fun project for you. Not really sure how it's gonna turn out. I made this beautiful wood burned art several years ago. It was one of my very first super creative projects where I just kind of went off the rails and did whatever I wanted to on a whim. This is a vintage mirror frame. I don't know if it had the mirror in it, I don't remember. Might have, and I just didn't need another mirror in the house. And so I decided to just use the frame for something else. So I basically painted it uh, originally a really dark blue, it was very pretty. And I tried to sell it and nobody was interested in it. So I bought it home and I painted it this beautiful shade of, it's like a creamy color. And I decided I was going to do some artwork on it. And I had wanted to try wood burning for several years. So I went ahead and I looked up some Scandinavian type art, not really art, like designs, um, patterns, I guess you could say, very Viking type. And I actually looked up some Viking runes and I went ahead and drew on my entire design. I designed it off of some things that I found off of Google Images and I used just a pencil and a metal ruler and drew my entire design and then slowly and meticulously sat there with my metal ruler and my wood burning tool and wood burned the entire design in like three or four days. It took me hours and hours of work. It was a labor of love, but I absolutely love it except my style is much less rustic. So it's got chicken wire here. Not really sure if you can see it and it really only has these four clips. So it hasn't been extremely efficient. I could have used other clips on this chicken wire and that's kind of what the original thought was, but I'm just not really into it. And unfortunately, when I was trying to secure the wood to the frame, I didn't do such a great job and I have some screw tips pointing out, which kind of sort of, um, sort of ruined the finish on it. So in any case, today I would actually like to remove the backing on this and replace it with something else that will be much more useful. I would actually love to make it upholstered personally and then I can pin whatever I want to on it. That is kind of what my thought is because I have it above my desk typically. It's huge so it doesn't fit like anywhere else in the house. <laughs> so I have had it all over the place. At one point I had it above um, in a wall in my living room where my TV is now. I have had it in the hallway. I have had it pretty much everywhere but I love it above my desk because my kids artwork gets pinned there and they really love having it right they're displayed where and I love having it to where I can see it while I'm working so love the mirror love this entire project I'm actually gonna have a blog post with the entire process laid out for you in step-by-step -step directions if you are interested in doing something similar to this yourself but today we're gonna kind of take it apart and see if we can update it give it an updated style and make it more my style now is what I want to do. Let's just do that. It's got screws holding the back in very haphazardly. You can tell here. It's very haphazard. It's very dusty and dirty. There was not really a good way for me to keep this giant monster clean. I'm just going to start taking these screws out. kind of the annoying part. I actually did a really good job of putting the staples in. <laughs> that I have it completely taken apart, I am going to decide what I wanna do with it. <laughs> I probably should have like decided on, I basically have decided on it. Oh my gosh, I need to do something with these too. They are covered in staples. I'm pretty decided that I want to upholster it, kind of like how I did in my entryway with my antique frames there. I just think that that is very charming looking. So I'm gonna go and gather my supplies and then we're gonna get to cutting a piece of hardboard that will fit here. Hopefully I have one.
had to run to get myself some hot glue from the store. And we have this giant field of wild daisies down the road from us. And I figure with the way my city likes to do things, they're probably going to tell them they have to cut the grass because it's in the city limits. And in my experience, they have been extremely stringent on grass cutting rules. So I figured it wouldn't hurt me to grab a giant bouquet of them because they're gorgeous. So I'm just gonna fill this up with water real quick and put them in because yeah, they're beautiful. I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but for right now, I'm just gonna stick them in it because um, I'm in the middle of a project, so I can't sit here and make a, a beautiful bouquet. I mean, I sort of did. It's awfully pretty. Wildflowers are my favorite bouquets. All right, I stopped at the dollar store and I picked up some more glue sticks because one of my children, I shall not name any names, used all my glue sticks, and then I picked these up. I love that they are dark wood. And then I'm also going to be using these to make this stay in the frame. So these are glazer points and you would typically use these for glazing windows, like keeping the glass in, but I am going to use them to keep this in the frame without having to poke holes and anything else. So that's my theory at the moment, at least. And I'm gonna be using some baker's twine and I'm also going to be using some screw eyes some itty bitty ones I actually found one glow stick Before I put the glazer, glazer points in, I'm going to put my string. And I decided to do it a bit differently than the other frames, simply because the cardboard I have isn't big enough for the space and I don't want it to look yucky. So I'm gonna do something different. Um, to start, I'm just gonna start marking where I wanna space my little Okay. I'm gonna do them every two inches. I feel disgusting because I went into the grass and now every itch feels like a tick to me because I get paranoid like that. This is when having your tools around comes in handy. I'm just gonna make myself a little starter hole with a tiny little nail because I can't find a screw small enough. my glazer points. So what you do is get yourself a butter knife and you just kind of put them in like this. And then I'm just going to use my
spectacular. I love it. I think it is so much classier than what it was before. It's just really pretty. And I know the light is not the greatest in here, but hopefully you can see. There we have it. A fun, quick-ish, all-in-one afternoon uh, project. It really wasn't difficult. And I would really encourage you that when you are trying to do a repurposing project or project of any kind, to try to work with what you have on hand. Shop your house first, and you would probably be amazed if you challenge yourself to use only what you have on hand, how little you can spend and how beautiful it can turn out in the end. So. I am really happy with how this turned out. I feel like it's definitely elevated. I could elevate it even more if I replace the string with some ribbon, which I will probably do at some point. I just didn't have it on hand. So I'm doing what I've got with what I have. So perfect repurposing project. It didn't cost me a dime. Just literally what I have on hand. That being said, working really hard on my daughter's bedroom to bring you the beautiful vintage preteen girl bedroom reveal. And of course, because I do projects like carrying on, like it's a never ending thing, it's gonna be the reveal for now. So there will be other things that I will add on eventually, but it's gonna be a good enough done type of situation. I'm gonna get the few projects that I have left for her room done and I'm gonna bring it to you and I'm gonna show you how gorgeous it is and what you can do with a bedroom or any room in your house with very little money and um, a lot of sweat equity. So some time and patience and hard work basically. Um, also I'm going to be bringing you that second episode of the dresser refinishing project with the complete overhaul of the mirror. Haven't gotten started on that. Probably will get started on that. I just want to have it done and I want the dresser to be beautiful and whole. So can't wait to bring that to you. Thank you so much guys for watching all the way through. If you've made it this far, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If this is content that you like watching and if you are not subscribed, I would love it if you would be a part of this community here at Capturing Winterland. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so that you can be informed when I do drop new videos. Every now and then I will drop an extra video in the week while I am updating my beautiful builder grade home and turning it into the beautiful wonderland of my dreams. Bye. I'll see you in the next one.